Cameroon. It's called We Are Sailing. <laughs> ahead and the money can come flooding in. Our search for a star continues. In fact, it goes on and on and on and on. And our judges here are presenting edited highlights of an earlier entertainment. <laughs> now it is the turn of Yorkshire television to inflict or rather impress us with their talent. Over to you, Richard Whiteley. Yes, well, Michael, thank you. Uh, we can't really top what you've just seen on your settee down there, but I think, really, you're going to like this. His name is Brian Ashley. Now, he was a miner for 32 years. He comes from Derbyshire. In fact, he's very big in Derbyshire. He's something of a cult in the Derbyshire club. So now, will you listen and please acclaim a man who calls himself simply Brian the Miner. <laughs> Talent, do you think, gentlemen? Definitely. I like the audience. I thought they looked like the Muppets, you know. You sure? 
Yes. I think you made a point, Michael. I think the lighting did tend to lessen the impact. We yes. couldn't see Brian properly, and I think that did take the edge off what was basically something that but what should be seen. Can but I what a voice. What a Can voice. I ask you both something? Have you driven Ruby through the cushions? She doesn't seem to be here anymore. <laughs> She's in between the creases. She's in the room. Thank you, and uh, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Ten to six on this bright bank holiday morning. Let's hope you all very well in lead. And if you're just getting up, get on the phone straight away. All the numbers at the bottom of the screen. I don't know what we were when you went to bed. We are now 1.1 million, and we want to go higher and higher and higher. Well, if you have just got up, you missed our search for a star entry. We had Brian the Miner, Brian uh, Ashby, of course, from uh, Derbyshire, as featured on Calendar about three weeks ago. And uh, you are a bit of a cult, Brian, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Has, has success gone to your head at all? Has it affected you? No. <laughs> Did you expect to win tonight? No. No? Win tonight? No. Well, no, because they, 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 they thought you were very good, but they, I don't think... I couldn't quite hear what they were saying, but I don't think they've judged anyone the winner, have they yet? No. 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 <laughs> I, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Are you a man of few words? I'm very quiet. You're very quiet. Aww. We've got Chris, your musical director here. Uh, is it a difficult job being MD to such a virtuoso? I think Brian lets the music do the talking, really. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> he feels it, doesn't he, deep down? Mm. Yes, where do you feel it? <laughs> is that a fair question? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is the morning, I suppose. But, I mean, this cultishness that follows him, I mean, the effect in the studio audience, none of whom had actually seen him before, and immediately, within ten seconds, they were all doing all that business and cheering and clapping. It's amazing, isn't well, it? He's a natural superstar. He is a natural superstar. We should all be very proud of you, Brian, and you're a, 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 a calendar land treasure. Mm -hmm. Do you think so? Yes, I do. You do, yes. Well, we're very <laughs> proud of you. OK, well, if you liked Brian, uh, why not send him some money, not for Brian's sake, but for all of our sakes. That's Brian the singing minor. Good luck to Brian. <laughs> All right. Our roving reporters have been out and about stirring up all the uh, activity at our pledge centres and we've been to York. So let's see how things are going over in the city of York. Here comes the York report. Let's hear it. If you rang the York number to pledge money for... <laughs> Figuratus is almost a sign. You know idea. why they're after I, young really women, upset don't by you? Because they women. haven't heard it all before. <laughs> <laughs> right? A guy of 40 can go up to a girl of 18 and say things like, you know, I've never seen anybody like you and you've got the most amazing eyes and all the rest of it. And they go, really? Well, the rest of us have heard it like 20 times, 200 yeah, yeah. times. Not when they're going to paint you, though. <laughs> what about some, I've heard of those, that one too. some of those ladies in the middle there? You Not were like looking quite uh, in disagreement about Mr. Stedman's <laughs> comments here. I mean, your views, I mean, are you, are, yes, you two looking round. <laughs> are any of your, either of your husband's menopausal? <clears throat> you talking to me? Yes. Uh, uh, I'm not married, actually. <laughs> my ex-husband is extremely menopausal. Your ex-husband? My ex-husband, I would say, has been menopausal for the last 15 years. And he's on his third wife now. Or a, a, a bitter um, lady, perhaps. He's just departing from his third wife at the moment. Oh. Um, so third menopause. But I think there was a lot of uh, what, what somebody was saying before about uh, the underachiever or overachiever. Because a 